Hey all, Binks here, and today the absolute one drop queen is here. Introducing Nebula, the insane new season pass card, a one energy, one power. Each turn your opponent doesn't play a card here, plus two power. When you play this down on turn one, it is game changing. Your opponent has to sit there and decide every single turn. If I don't invest my resources on this specific lane with Nebula, it's going to continue to grow and grow and grow. We had multiple 11 power Nebulas over the course of the stream. She is insane. She's the, the one of the strongest cards in the game and guaranteed the best one drop right now. Definitely get your games in with her before she gets nerfed. Uh, to kind of celebrate her, we built a Guardians deck with all of our Guardians. So we have Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, and Gamora. So all five of the cards with that uh, exact Guardian effect of gaining power for calling out your opponents. Nebula can help with this. If you see that they're avoiding Nebula, you can play off of Nebula. If you can see that they're trying to stop Nebula, you can play on top of her. Uh, we also have some really cool cards like Daredevil and Storm that can kind of limit your opponent's options or give us insight to their options. We're running armor. Uh, there is a decent amount of like Electra Killmonger going around because Nebula is so powerful. So playing Nebula on one, armor on two, pretty much just like shores up that game for the rest of the, the rest of the match. It's pretty nutty. Uh, Polaris is good for uh, the mirror, moving our opponent's Nebulas and just a really solid three drop. Uh, we have Enchantress. Uh, we started with Black Widow to kind of give us more options on the Guardian's turn. So we play Black Widow, let's say, on two. They're usually going to play two cards on three so we can get a Guardian's trigger. Uh, but Enchantress just was working really, really well for us. And she's just a really powerful card right now, so we swapped her in. Uh, and then on the top end, we have Doom. Pretty much every deck right now is going to get better if we can play Doom on turn six, or at least we have that option. Uh, no joke, Nebula is crazy. This might not be the best deck for her. She's just plug and play into pretty much any deck right now. Uh, if you have Nebula on turn one and you maybe haven't been seeing as many Killmongers or Electras or uh, that's not really the meta, I, I think just snapping and playing her on turn one tends to work. Uh, we were joking around saying Nebula on one, opponent's not going to have any fun. Crazy, crazy card. Definitely if you're someone who buys the season pass, play her early, play her often because I think that she is going to get nerfed. She's insane. I hope that you enjoy playing this deck. Uh, and one more thing, if you're catching this early, I am co-streaming with Ben Brode. We're doing a co-op stream on my channel, both on YouTube and Twitch, uh, Tuesday, May 2nd at 9 p.m. Central Time. Definitely jump in and check it out. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. You can subscribe for a daily Marvel Snap content. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Binks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. All right, no Nebula on one ever. Literally just use the exact same card against each other. Same same uh, border, same variant. Nebula junk deck? I think Nebula is just good in any deck. She's probably good in a junk deck too. Just good in everything. Look at this. Wait, is, she, is this even going to work? Like are there cards? I don't even know how this. I don't even know how this will work if the opponent does this. Let's play it for five stats. I think left is fine. And we have Drax and the Storm. They they might also have Drax, but we have the Doctor Doom follow up. I'm actually feeling really good. We're gonna snap on him. You know the Drax is pretty nuts. Still played yet? Yeah, you'd think so, but there's there's weird interactions with flip cards. I am We're gonna be tied here. We're gonna be tied here unless they can uh, doom. Unless they also run doom, which they might. Storm in the Nebula is cracked, though. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see if they're running Doom in their version. If they're not running Doom, we should be we should be fine. How's this 8 power? Oh, it's 6. It just looks like an 8 a little bit. Card back from Infinite is the same as the Season Pass one? Is it a gold version? Should be a gold version. Might be some mistakes there. 
The drawback with Nebula is your opponent can play in the lane. That's not a drawback. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, they were always allowed to do that. Nebula has absolutely no drawbacks. Playing Nebula on one is the best one turn one play you can play in this game. No matter what. Well, it's going to be really fun because it seems like a lot of people are playing Nebula. Rightfully so because she's cracked. Our Nebula deck is going to be awesome. Victory. Howard the Duck may be cracked. I think Howard the Duck is a fair card, but a very fun card that I'm very excited to play. But Howard the Duck feels very fair. Uh, which sometimes is is just not enough in uh, games like this. Let's go Storm into Drax. They already used their Space Stone. Yeah, like Iron Lad, Jubilee, Howard the Duck decks will be really fun. But just like a standalone card, he kind of needs the support, right? Just the standalone card, I don't think is that great. Very nice to put this on top of the hood lane. Nebula going to be kind of a non-factor here. She can be a conditional 1-3 though, which isn't too bad. Gamora at the end of the game is going to hopefully be my, my ticket to ride here. I don't know how to finish out the game though. They went double down. They're going to win the lane. Dude, that's crazy. No, we still got the lane. It's mighty close, but they could definitely have Blue Marvel in the deck or Kazar. Um, I could also try and Polaris them off. This has a 40% chance to basically win me middle and then give me a chance to win left. Uh, so we gotta love this play. Plus the plus that to follow it up. We snap on him though. I don't know. We do give them a Gamora to play on the final turn, but I don't they, they can't play it left, so I think this will, I think this should be enough. 40% chance. Is that is that worth snapping? But also top deck Doom. The one and four. Go for it. One Killmonger? You think that this deck that they have Demon Titania on board is gonna run kill is gonna play Killmonger? Kind of weird. Forty percent chance to hit one of these two. Love it. Absolutely nutso. And then we just vibe with our Dino man. Um, I'm trying to think if any top decks they have could beat us. The only thing I could really think of that could potentially beat us would be like an arrow. So Rocket Raccoon, they could also have top decked Doom. They top decked Doom, do we win total power here? They top deck Doom. They get to middle. They actually win middle. Ah, doesn't matter. They didn't top deck Doom. GG's! Very nice. How come I always draw Nebula on two and never on one? Pretty messed up. Lots of pistachio. What's up, man? That free storm is now an ultimate variant? Are you serious? Dude, <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked people who didn't get that card. Wow. What a fun set of locations. Um Come here, Nebula. Come hither. So after turn four, this is going to swap. So we just go all in here because they have to play here. And then we get to play in a different location with our Gamora. We're snapping. The opponent, look at the locations. The opponent's like a bounce deck. They can't do bounce stuff. So I think it would be fun to get Ego as a hot location. I thought they should have done it for April Fool's Day. I was really hoping they would do like an eight hour thing for April Fool's Day. I thought, I thought that would be a really, really cool treat. But they did not. Yo, nice green goblin, my friend. Hope you have fun having that just hang out on your side the rest of the game. Absolutely destroyed. Did you come up with this deck yourself? Be twice? I come up with every deck myself. 
Uh, there are very few times where I will. Um, I almost never net deck. I can't. I don't. I can't even remember the last time I net decked. But I will take people's ideas sometimes when they're very unique ideas. But other than that, I, I build all of my decks. My, my I, dude, I honestly think if I have Nebula turn one, I'm snapping every game. I'm just gonna snap every game when I have Nebula on turn one. It seems that strong. The three seven, but I said I wasn't counting the rock in the middle. Because uh, they had two rocks, one of which I wasn't really counting because I wasn't gonna attack that land, so it wouldn't have necessarily mattered against me or mattered for what I was trying to fight against. Uh, and then the other, the rock and the shocker would go, would go for. But I know what you mean. It was it was an actual three seven. You're, you are correct there. Don't you worry. Let's let's say they go for the nebula the first time. They don't, dude. People aren't playing on the nebula. It's very interesting. I think I still want to storm left, crazily enough. I'm gonna storm Drax. Hopefully get Gamora and then Doctor Doom. Storming on the Nebula Lane seems stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Storming on the Nebula Lane seems really dumb. I'm gonna do it anyway. So we'll tie them left. Please get a big card. Oh, no clutch. We'll tie them left if they don't have Doom in their deck. He Drax my Drax? Or did I Drax his Drax? This is a dinosaur? I was gonna say. I would I would cry if that was a dinosaur. We should win the total power battle by quite a bit. Unless they do something uh, crazy that I'm not expecting. Hi! See, opponent has Professor X in their deck, and their deck sucks ass. Look at that, chat. Learning a little bit every single day. GG's. Dude, these Nebula Mirrors are pretty fun. This The Nebula Mirror introduces a really cool dynamic to this game that I'm kind of getting behind. Okay, opponent's turn three. I'm going to say they go middle if they have Electro, because these decks are usually Electro ramp. So if they have Electro, we can go Groot, get it up to eight power. You go right, it's probably Wave then. Okay. Uh, we'll go Gamora middle to just get juiced up on power. Wait, maybe we just... There's a world we just Polaris middle, right? Or like plays Doom here. Or like plays Doom here, gets double Doom. But then they're locked out of this location. Is that worse than just double Gamora here? Because we would probably double Doom if we had the, the option. Try it. They don't have access to this anymore, which is our huge weapon that we can have later. Uh, they can only play a five drop this turn. We can also Enchantress, but uh, we don't really want to Enchantress. Let's just play. Wait, we just play Gamora left? Because the Doom middle is just going to beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I think we just Gamora left. And then we do middle. We could get in trouble to arrow. Oh, not anymore. Because now we have initiative. Yo, let's go. Hog it up, baby! Easy wins, dude. That Polaris on the Maw was clutch, dude. You know they were looking for Doom. They're probably Dooming now, and they're mad that they can't get double the Dooms like we do. We have double the Doom, bro. Look at how much more Doom we have than you. When all three lanes profit, by the way, chat. Yo! Easy game! You can do it. Nimrod. Yeah, that's, that's the card. A pink marshmallow. Yeah, too many outs. Usually in that situation, if there's one out, um, we, we might go for it, but if there's three outs that they have, it's only, it's nearly impossible they won't have it. Rematch button soon? I don't think so. 
I would be uh, quite surprised. Um, let's see if they are uh, if they are Galactus. This might just solo them. This might just win. They're Galactus. I think we win with the storm, right? Could be a Doom Odin deck, but uh, we will see. They Doom left and they're a Doom Odin deck. We we could still figure this out. What's up, baby? My girlfriend's here, chat. Everyone say hi. Oh, I didn't end my turn. Aid my hand. Wow, it's a Galactus, chat. Oh my gosh. We Drax over Gamora. Crazily enough, we Drax over Gamora. They could do a Psycho Sean, Sean one drop. Like Sean Yandu beats me if I uh, Gamora. Sean, Sean Yandu beats me if I Gamora chat. Oh, hello, Lilith. <laughs> yeah, in situations like this, you just have to assess every out they could possibly have. Uh, if, if this is Sean, Sean, Sean Yandu, I'm gonna feel like the smartest person in the whole world. It's Sean Yandu, dude. It's freaking Sean Yandu. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, that's the Binks brain coming in handy right there, man. And with a little little support, can I have a kiss? Oh. 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 <laughs> He is so smart at the game, chat. Thanks, brains. Let's go, dude. Dude, he's become a staple in almost every deck now. Yeah, I have him in mind. He's really good. I think he's always been really good and just underrated. <laughs> Narrator voice. They had Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom, Shanna, White Tiger. Yeah, but one of those cards sees play and the others don't. Oh, so they would have shattered. They would have gotten the hood right if I know anything about it. What do you think about Shadow King as a tech card against Guardians decks? I am playing that in my next deck, so we will see, we will see how it works. I kind of want my Doctor Doom, so I'm gonna I'm gonna storm the Mindscape. Good card. Also, with Groot, and hopefully we get either Nebula or Rocket Raccoon off the rip, both of which would be very good for us. Polaris is not as good, uh, but we can still just Groot, right? Stay ahead. Next turn, Enchantress, there's Abu, maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we want to do. Darkhawk. I would have preferred to Enchantress that, but beggars cannot be choosers. Uh, I still do think I Enchantress the Zabu so they can't go like Darkhawk. They can't go like Rock Slide and another 4 drop on maybe the last turn. Enchantress. Uh, they could have... Oh, even Rockslide Korg doesn't win them right. Yeah, we're fine. We are vibing. So I was going to say they could have Rockslide Korg, which is a bit scary, but it only adds six right, uh, which still gets beaten by the Doom. GG's. Where do you think Nebula stands in terms of one energy cards? The best. The best. It is going to be very hard to not run her in every deck. Um, the problem is going to be is that it might cause Killmonger to be in every deck, and then you'd also have to run armor. Then it becomes a bit of an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let me, um, I actually have a, there's three world records that I own. Marvel Snap. Uh, so you can see kind of like a sweet, uh, breakdown of all of them. Uh, but this is, this is, this is one that goes into all three games. Uh, the, the Black Panther one, which is the Black Panther getting... 2 billion power is by far my most viewed video of all time by like a lot. I think it has like 230 mil, like 200, not million, 230 like thousand views, I think. Yeah.
223,000 views. It's by far my biggest video I've ever done. Nice, ah, called him out the Starling. Nebula, Doc Ock, Wombo combo. I don't know what the Wombo combo would be. The Wombo combo would be playing Doc Ock on a Nebula lane. I just don't think you like often lose that lane, right? Um, I'm. F Wait, do I just storm now? Look at this chat. Look at this. I mean, they could reality stone middle, which kind of beats me up. But if they don't reality stone middle, there are they are fricked. They are fricked. They're fricked, chat. They have reality stone. They don't. They're fricked. They're absolutely fricked. Oh, you're so fricked, you piece. Look at how fricked they are. They're so fricked, chat. Thank you for the cubes. Thank you. Thank you. I think they didn't believe me or there's a chance that that was a I got fricked. I got fricked and so could you. GG's. No nebula. No problem. This was like, uh, this must be one of those ongoing, like a low curve ongoing, uh, I'm glad that I switched off and did that storm play. That storm play was ridiculous.